Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steers, and as you can see, I'm back in No Man's Sky, and this is the expedition singularity we are on. Phase 5. I guess we are. Let's jump on over into game so you can see it's a bit bigger. So, we're going to complete the final pilgrimage, I guess. Phase 5. Let's fly on out. Let's go and reach our destiny today, chums. I guess. Quite excited to get this one finished. It is one of my favouritest of expeditions. The next two expeditions, not so much. Right, anyway, well, actually, one of them, cartographers. You get some awesome re rewards. Perhaps the bestest rewards ever. Ever. Like, the bestest. Yeah, you get um the Golden Vector, which is like the Alpha Vector ship. And uh, it's all solid gold. I, yeah, I went and got rid of my one. Um, reason being is sometimes it appears to look green. Anyway, I'll see you at this destination, eh, people? Thank you. So I am heading to planet Moreno. Rendezvous 5 discovered by Hello of the Games. It's another Starbound from Dissonant Planet. They've chosen some lovely planets this time around. Ah, okay, I've been encountered by this thing. Yes, okay. Hello there, Atlantid. What have you got for me? You've got some dribble drubble. Okay, thank you very much for your dribs. Okay, thank you very much for your drubble. Okay, right, well, let's um, let's shoot the crap out of this thing, then. I've forgotten what button fires. <laughs> there we go. Now you're in for it. Now I remembered my button pressing skills. Die. A little bit more. Die, die. Blow up. You know you want to. Well, there we go. Chicka boom, give me some freebies. Atlantium, thank you very much. Right, well, let's head on down to Rendezvous 5. Now, what I've noticed is it's locking onto comms balls, it's locking onto bases, it's locking onto all sorts other than the Rendezvous freaking icon. We'll spin this around as we're coming down. Hopefully, we're going to see an indication of where we need to go from those comms balls or bases, perhaps people inside of Diverse. What's that white marker there? Oh, it's a safe beacon. All right, fine. All right, I think I might just have to land here because I'm not. Nothing's jumping out at me. Oh, hold on. There's some comms balls over there. One minute away. Hmm. Could be something. Could be nothing. You know what? Let's just let's just land here, and i I'll, I'll make the trek on foot, people. All right, let's land just over. Here. Yeah, let's land here then. Go on, land, land. Land anytime you want to, anytime now. Come on, there we are. We're landing. I'll see you at the actual rendezvous. Well, I'm about 1,200 years away, and it's lucky I didn't go to that comms ball over there because that's not it. It's, it looks like it's probably this one over here. It's gonna take me five minutes. Okay, chums, well, I've arrived, Kated. Now, I landed in the dead of night, and it is still night time. I don't know what this planet looks like in the day. But it has got some lovely little ponds, and it does look quite wonderful, actually. Very nice planet. Um, let's have a look at it in camera mode. You know what? There we go. Let's, uh, let's go into your camera mode. Let's put the sun in the sky. Yeah, Hello Games really have outdone themselves this time, I think, in finding wonderful, beautiful planets that have got fairly varied and interesting terrain. Each one of these has been a pretty nice planet to have been on, especially the blue one with the alternating grass. I really liked that one. Anyway, here we go. Oh my god! What the fudge? Where did you come from, mate? You shouldn't be here. Or you. What the... What the devil? Okay. That was weird. Oh yeah. Cool, I haven't got the technologies yet that make these guys appear. That's that's bloody odd. Unless I have, and I just didn't know it. Go. Cool. Yeah. Um scan memory registers. Let's do that. Okay. One plus three is four. Six plus four is ten. Okay, so four and ten. Twenty-nine minus fourteen. It's too early. It's too early for this. Oh my Freaking days! Okay, uh, we'll take the 4 away. Uh, 25, take the 10. 15! Now I forgot the other 2. Okay, 4, 10, 15. 4, 10, 15. All my days, people. Yeah, okay, 4, 10, 15. Here we go! Let's do this. Has my math served me well? Okay. I can't see the bloody boxes. 4. 10. 
And the 15s. 12, 14. Did that work? Did I complete my mathematical challenge? I think I did. I don't know whether I needed to, though. Because I don't really need either of these two things. I mean, I could get a sentinel ship if I really wanted to. Nah, that's not it. I'll just leave. All right, okay. Um, yeah, that's because I should have gone over to this one. Holy fudge, I'm an idiot. I've got to do another blinking maths challenge now. <laughs> Too early. Okay, 4 plus 11 is 15. That's a bit easier. Okay, cool. 7 minus 3. 5, 6, no, it's uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 4. So we've got 15, 4, and 10. So 15, 4, 10. 15, 4, and 10. 15, 4, and 10. Okay, here we go. 15, 4, and 10. We are. Okay, 15. Four and ten. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. I can do math. I guess. I know. My grey matter never ceases to amaze myself. There we go. Finalized download. I'm fairly sure you guys got it a lot quicker than me. Right. Atlantid reactor. Okay. Well, what the fudge is that when it's at home? Okay. I guess that brings it to life. I'm sure I had a crystalline heart. I'm sure I had a crystallized heart. I think I got one earlier. Antimatter housing, okay. Alright, fine. Right, well let's uh let's let's um hope that I find another crystallized heart sitting in a wheelbarrow, shall we? It it's never a thing, but uh it could be. Go on. Be awesome, universe. No, the universe was not awesome. I didn't I I half expected it not to be, to be honest. Right, okay. Echo collective. What the fudge is that when it's at home then? Alright, I must have got that somehow. All right, fine. We're going to stick that rusted metal in there just to get it out of the blinking way. Yeah, this little kitty's going to take me a while to get. A crystallised heart, you say. Okay. Um, Is it inside my starship? Did I put a crystallised heart? There it is. It's in my starship. So if I just bring my starship to me... There. Lovely. Hopefully I can um, create this thing. Now, if you haven't got a crystallised heart... I got mine from taking out one of those, you know, the purple weird things on the planets that look like little flagpoles. They're like um, strange sentinel scissor machines. They sort of sit, yeah, they're very odd. They're the, um, oh, I can't remember what they're bloody called. Let me see if I can find one on the side of my map. Because they've got their own little icon to them. I passed one on the way to this camp. I didn't shoot it. It was near to where my ship was. Technically, I should have gone back to my ship one foot and I could have shown you. But they're like the prismatic, lasery, weird sentinel things. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, I, I killed one of them. But yeah, if you just kill the purple sentinels, the, the ones on this planet, the little purple sentinels, hopefully you get one in the end. Anyway, here we go. Let's, um, let's see if we can make this last part of our robot then. No, because I need antimatter housing. Can I make some antimatter housing? Oh, I need ferrite dust, you say. Well, I've just got myself a load of ferrite dust from that rusted metal. Ha! Ah, chance we had it! Oh, didn't get much though, did I? That's because I ran out of fuel in the dang thing. There we go. Make more! Okay, I'll be back when I've got more! Okay, well I think I've got enough. This is taking freaking ages. So I'm just going to take that out of there. Lovely jubbly. And that, should, that should give me enough to make what I'm after anyway, which is just um, one of these little kitties. Yep, boom! Antimatter housing done. Now if I go to my starship. I, I like to build my robot inside of my starship. There we go. Done. Uh, anytime you're ready, Badge. You gonna pop? Well, maybe not then. Alright, cool. Well, we'll, we'll claim that then. Oh, there we go. Lovely, lovely. Exosuit. All that sort of shenanigans. And next up, rebuff. Cool. Yeah, I've already built that. It's just taking its time to register the fact. There you go. Oh, we've got given some repair kits. Lovely. Not that I've got anything that needs repairing anymore. Okay, right, here we go. Yeah, alright, fine. What have we got to do here? What the fudge is this all about? Reward, callbacks, words. I'm not really bothered about callbacks, words, to be honest. It looks like it's already completed, so... Is that, is that done? Okay, Echo Seeds... Of uh, Nada's prime terminal, 100%. So what do I do there then, mate? 
Alright, uh, well, I'm not too sure what I need to do. It's not telling me what I need to do. I'd imagine I need to go up to Nada's Prime Terminal, which is inside of the old Nexus. We give it a go. We go and have a look at that little thing, shall we? In fact, before I do that, shall I get an Echo Seed just in case I need an Echo Seed to uh, interact with it? Let's have a quick look, see if I can find an Echo Seed. It's one of these icons, but it's got like a little um, exclamation mark above it. So that one's not it. That one's not. I'm not. I'm not actually seeing one, to be honest. You know what? Let's just fly up there and see what blinking happens, then, people. Let's go do that. Yeah, let's go and interact with the Prime Echo, whatever it's called. Let's go. It's the t it's the uh, simulation terminal where you put Artemis. Let's go and have a look and see if that does it. Right, well, I'm where I think I need to be. There you go, Terminal Prime. That's it there. Um, no, I have got an Echo Seed, apparently, so there you go. Give it to him. Lovely jubbly. And leave. There we go. Ha! It worked. Nice. Sweet. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, radio, then. Um, so that's done. Uh, we can claim that. Lovely, lovely. Okay. And uh, it looks like we've got to go and speak to the Atlas. At least that's what it's saying in the bottom right corner of the screen. I didn't read the next one. There we go. We just learned 16 Corvax words. Aren't we lucky? Aren't we awesome? Yes, we're going to go and speak to the Atlas. Hello there, Autophage. Hello, Tephus. So I'm just going to run past them. So you roughly know where I was there, people. And I'm just going to jump over this balcony. Not break my legs. And uh, we're going to head on over to the Atlas Terminal. So I'm going to fly out, access the galactic map, and just go over to the Atlas Terminal. We've done this in many phases. I'm fairly sure you know how to do this. And we enter into the belly of the beast. Yes, these places always fill me with a slight sense of intrepidation. Like, like something could happen that isn't supposed to happen, you know? I always feel slightly nervous inside of the Atlas. It, it has got that sort of ominous feeling, you know what I mean? It's almost a familiar feeling, though. Like I might have visited this place in a dream in real life. You know, it, it's it's a strange feeling. I don't know whether you guys get that same feeling inside the verse. Anyway, let's hit this up. All the Atlas has created certain motion, blah de blah de blah. Thank you. Here we go. Present construct parts. There we are. It has a message for for me from beyond. Now this is where it gets pretty weird, people. There you are. Got you. Lovely jubbly. We've got ourselves the seed of life and chromatic metal. Lovely. We visited the final Atlas station. Well, let's get into it then, people. Let's get into here. Let's unlock that. Boom. Maybe it was in the Echoes update. Maybe it's in the Echoes update and the Echoes path line that I'm thinking of. But I'm fairly sure all this went purple at one stage. I thought it was inside of this expedition. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, we've got all that then. Lovely jubbly. Dundily and done. Bubble cluster, rattling spine. Oh my god, it gave me loads of them. Don't know why. Not that I need them. Right, okay, we've got given a load of trophies. Everybody needs a trophy. No, they don't. Okay. Uh, right, so if I get. Oh, I could get rid of the rattling spines, to be honest. Yeah, my inventory is getting full. I'll just get rid of that. I don't need water protection. There we are. Boom. We can get that done. That's going to pop me a badge. It's probably going to send me to oceans now. I've deleted my water protection, isn't it? That's probably going to be a thing. Not that it really matters. I'm quite good at picking up kelp sacks. Right, okay. Pop that. Oh, we've got the 16 glyph set. That's brilliant for portal hopping. There's, well, you've got pretty much everything you need as a starting out traveller inside of this freaking expedition. This expedition's awesome. Right, we've got to do this one now. Brief life into the construct. I thought it was already pretty much alive, to be honest. Okay. All right, well, we're going to go do that then. Cool. And that's back aboard the anomaly, I believe. And it's that guy that we build on, on the main bridge. Now, if I remember rightly, there is a way that you can get both heads at this stage. It demands doing a reload of your save. After you claim one, you go back in and claim the other. Something like that. Alright, here we go. Let's head on over. 
And uh, let's call in the old Atlas. No, not the Atlas, but you know what I mean. The Space Anomaly. And we'd head on in. We'd go and have a little chat. It's playing the awesome music, isn't it, people? Yeah, let's have a little dance. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully you guys had a little dance at home, Ross. It was just me on my own there. And it was epic music, though. Yeah, it was 60 Days of Static, whatever their names are. Brilliant. Lovely. Okay, let's um, hope that I'm in the right place. Brief life into the construct. Complete either the... the Aha! So this is it. I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, just to create another autosave, just to be sure. But I, I think what you do is you do a reload. So I'm going to jump in, jump out, make another save. There we are, bum. And then you head. There you go. Look, it's done the little save at the bottom. I don't think my jetpack's good enough to actually reach this balcony from down here, or is it? It is. I've made it. Let's go talk to this guy then. Construct is still highly distressed. Bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. Ernst, uh, whatever. Okay, cool. Shell lost. Shell whatever. Suveco Collective. There you go. And is it going to ask me to choose the Atlantid or the Crimson? There we go. So, connect Atlantid reactor, plant seed of hope. Okay, I will connect him then. There we go. Atlantid reactor. Brilliant. Yes. There you go. Oh, that's the Atlantid one that I just, uh, I just claimed. There we are. Okay, so as soon as you've done that, let's come up with this. And we've got that. Go into your expedition. And I think you claim them. Boom, like that one. Like, there you go. We've now claimed the Atlantid head, yeah? I might as well claim that as well. After you've claimed these badges, then what you do is you go into options. And you reload your last autosave, which I think is this one here. I think. Or it might have been the one below it. It's tricky to know now, people, because it does these autosaves. I didn't see it do an autosave, so I chose that one and the top one. Maybe I should have chose the second one down. But you do it, and hopefully you can go back up and retalk to them. Repop those two badges, but there you go. Let's have a look at the expedition. Ah, maybe I chose the wrong one. So if I go into here, if I choose that one at 18, let's try that. Because technically it shouldn't show those badges as being claimed. And there we are. Let's see if I got it right this time, people. Mm, ba -dum -bum -bum. I mean, they might have stopped this from working. I mean, it was a long time that the singularity came out. Here we go. That's better. Okay, but it should register inside of the Quicksilver droid over there that I've actually claimed it. There we are. That's what you needed to do. Selecting the slightly earlier one. Boom. Then I can go back in. I can do it again. Soothe him. Lovely. And this time, don't just keep hammering X like I was doing just then. Go nice and slow and choose the seed of hope this time. And yes. Boom. Done. There we are. Now I can claim the optional badge. Boom. Claim that one. And I can claim the final badge. There we go. Thank yous. We've got everything, people. I say everything. We haven't got everything. If you, if you think you've got everything, you haven't. You have to go to the final reward here. You can see there it says new reward. It doesn't tell you on the screen that there's something else to claim. And you click this badge down here. Not obvious. Not obvious at all. Click that and you get given everything else. The full, cost, the full construct customization set. And you should get this message and hit accept. If you don't get that message, you haven't claimed everything. Go back in. Make sure you claim the right stuffage. It goes. And now we're done. 
brilliant, eh? You should have all the different cosmetics to make yourself look like a little android now. I'll show you I'll show you what you can look like. There we go. Let's go down here. Sweet. And you should find that you've got the choice of two heads. You might not be in this save that you've got the, ch this, the chance to have the both of the heads. You might have to go and claim the reward at the bottom. But race should have should be on anomaly. Oh, auto page over here. There we go. Should have your own sort of head type. There we are. That'll do. Yeah. You can kind of make yourself look like this now. Okay, people. There we are. I look like a lovely auto page. I guess I do. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it lovely? Yes, it is. If you don't see both heads, you go down to this guy, chat to him, and then go to collect expedition rewards. And you should see it listed inside of here. You should see both heads inside of here. And you just claim them. And and that's 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 pretty much it, people inside of the universe. Yep, there we are, done, dilly and done. Just scanning through. Okay, here we go. Uh, the head should be somewhere in here. They're, they're in here somewhere. Oh, there's all the legs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's one of the heads. There it is. There we go. But yeah, you just claim them all and job done. Anyways, that's pretty much everything I've got for you inside of the viewerverse. Hopefully this has helped you out. If you don't have both heads, you may have to run the expedition twice, basically. Anyways, that, that's um. Thank you very, very much for choosing to watch this expedition playthrough. I know I made some humdingers of mistakes. Journey milestone completed just came up on the screen there. Pretty darn nice. But yeah, um, I I never have claimed to be the bestest of gamer or the bestest at No Man's Sky. I'm far from it. In fact, I'm just the average Joe. So yeah, if you like that. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. I will try my best to do the other expeditions over this festive break. But I have got a very busy festive break. The chances are I might not do all of it. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to commit to it. Or whether I'm going to have a nice little holiday to myself. We'll see how drunk I go. <laughs> anyway, salute to Monday. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.